Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. It's Jay from Mitoso Crafts and welcome to Global Stampin' Video Hop with the theme of love. So today I'll be sharing how to use the Adoring Hearts hybrid embossing folder to make different cards. So this one has got a die and an embossing folder, so that's why it's a hybrid embossing folder. Uh, so as usual, you can emboss with the embossing folder and cut out shapes with the dies. So the dies comes with this full set of background hearts which is great. You can make shaker cards with that as well and standalone die cuts on there. So I wanted to share with the embossing folder how you can ink it up with a brayer and um, use that for your card as well. So for this demonstration, I will be using a darker ink pad, Fleur de Flamingo, but for my cards, I have used Bubble Bar. So as usual, as I said, you can just emboss it, place that a piece of card on your embossing folder, and then run that through on your cutting emboss machine with plates number one and four. So that will just emboss it. And the next step is the hybrid. So you can cut and emboss or emboss and cut. So this die goes at the back of the Stampin' Up! logo. So you just place that on. It should slot in. Place your paper there. Of course, you can make full use of the square and create square cards, but I am just using an A6 card for this. So I got my embossing machine with the spine first, plate number one and plate number four. So run that through. And you have your base embossed as well and cut. So you can use this for shaker cards as I mentioned earlier and then um, use this for another card but you can use all of these elements in one card which is great. So the next one, we're gonna ink up our embossing folder. And this one you can use, uh, you can ink up the same side as well. So all of the raised areas on the embossing folder will catch the ink. So the brayer, when inking up the brayer, just make sure that you lift it up and make sure that that's fully covered and just add ink this is only the second type of ink this so the the ink is pulling on the design but it does add a bit of texture onto it so once that's done, again, you can just emboss that, but because I haven't been careful, that will go onto the, um, the card. So I'm gonna add the die. Again, carefully place it, it should slot in. I've got another piece of card here. I'm just lining it up on the edge and we'll cut that through as well. So the same process but with ink on there. So do check out the description below for the product links as well as the next video in the hop. So you have, do make sure that you clean your um, die as well and you have the background 
inked up on the out um, on the outline as well as the design of the each heart so that's really cool you could also do if you want the debo side inked up you can ink this up but again the, most of these are erased so it will go where the whites are it'll be it'll be on this side actually so it'll all be inked up on there and then the debo side will be left white so that is done another way if you don't want to ink up your embossing folder you could all always ink up the depot side of these so turn it over so I'll, I'll do it that way and I've just got a piece of scrap paper clean my rare because I'll use a lighter shade so this time I'll use the bubble bar so where the depot side is So that's the normal side. So if you flip it, flip it over, get your ink, ink it up, and just run your brayer on it. So you have two different ways on there. Let's see if it works on the other end. It should do as well. So that's how you can um, get different looks for the embossed pieces. And it's quite nice. So you can um, you know you can use different embossing folder for the background and then just use this for the topper. Just make sure it's all covered. But hopefully you have an idea of how you can use your adoring hearts hybrid embossing folder and with those elements I've also um, used some of the standalone dies in the set and I've gone ahead and actually pre-made my card so this one with the bubble bar I have inked up the embossing folder and I've inserted these two center ones because I'm gonna put my sentiment on there so the top two and that one have got a dimensional so again you just need to reinsert that so that is done and what else have we got for the um for the sentiment I've used the congratulations because it you can use it for I thought um, wedding or anniversary which is quite a nice um, love theme card and I've white embossed this one I've used the banner and the flourish die cut on there and that I'm just gonna use I'm gonna add with dimensional take that off And then that one. Of course, you can add some more. Um, what you call it? Embellishments or ribbon. So I'm just gonna place that there, and then finish up with some embellishment. This one I have the blooming pearls, which I thought was quite nice for. pink and I'll just do that a couple of small ones and that is my card so it's just been um, added on to the card base and here's another idea for you this one is slightly um, slim simpler background so it's just been embossed and instead of white embossing on the 
sentiment. I've just used Stason on gold foil. And again, I've just done the same uh, die cuts, but added a bit of ribbon underneath and used the celebration opaque faceted gems. And for the hearts, I've used the standalone die. So in vellum, bubble bath, and basic white. There we go. I hope you enjoy these cards and uh, make use of your Adoring Hearts hybrid embossing folder to create love cards. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time, bye!